Hey everyone, today I thought I'd show you what I use uh, my hip pack for, what I put in it, uh, how I pack for different adventures, whether it's sort of like a longer backcountry adventure or something a little bit closer to home. So here is my hip pack loaded for bear. So this is like absolutely as much stuff as I would want to carry on a full day backcountry adventure. So this is where I don't know if there's gonna be much cell phone service, uh, there's not gonna be quick medical assistance, and there might be bears, so let's see what's in it. There you have it. There's everything that fits in and around this Osprey Sabu pack for like a full day backcountry adventure. So this has everything I need just in case there's no medical service, uh, no cell service, I can still get out, I can fix my bike. So let's go over. So first off, helmet and goggles, you gotta have those, those are a must. Some basic tools, so two multi-tools, just in case you need to torque a belt against itself, it's always good to have two multi-tools. Uh, croissant wrench, just in case you run into French people. A uh, little folding knife, uh, hand pump with a CO2 attachment to it, uh, some bacon strips, uh, so those are tire um, sealant plugs for tubeless tires. Uh, dollar bills work really well for sealing patches on tires as well because they're cotton, so use American money, not Canadian. Um, tire patches as well. We have some uh, poison oak, poison ivy treatment, a foam, obviously. A tube, go with the smallest one you can find. So for 29 inch wheels, I still use a 27.5. You could probably even get away with a 26, just pack smaller. Bear spray, bear bell. Duct tape, that'll seal you up real good. Some antiseptic wipes. Uh, I got my folding trail saw from Gerber, that's pretty cool. Two water bottles, because hydration. Two snack bars, because nutrition. Uh, bandana, because you never know when you're gonna sweat a whole ton. Um, some basic band-aids. Uh, a combi pad for absorbing all the horrible fluids that you might leak out. Uh, quick clot, so put that over a wound and hopefully you won't bleed out. Uh, some gauze bandages and a triangular bandage as well. Definitely a good thing to have. And a lightweight packable jacket, uh, just in case it gets cold. So let's see how that all fits inside this pack. There it is, packed up nice and small, so really easy to ride with, uh, it's totally out of the way. I do take all the weight out of there when I start descending, the helmet being the big part of it. So the pack really doesn't move that much, I still feel safe on the bike for longer days in the saddle, and I've got everything I need with me. All right, so this is what I'll bring for sort of like an average longer, uh, so like half day ride or something like that. So this normally still in cell phone contact, so the cell phone's pretty clutch. Uh, not bringing a whole ton of extra supplies, not bringing a whole lot of first aid either. So the assumption here is that if something does go sideways, we'll be able to call for help. There we go, there's the pack, all ready for a longer day on the trails. All right, and here we have the pack for my favorite type of ride, the quickie afternoon, like one to two hour, bro down, ho down, awesome little enduro ride. There you have it, the ultimate day pack. Thanks for watching, see you out on the trails.